Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. Are you ready for another video about Octane? Because today we are taking a look at how to cast shadows from 3D objects. Let's be honest, nobody wants a 3D object in their scene that's not casting any shadow. No, nobody, no, no, no. And here we are back in Blender. This is the short scene that I want to break down for you today. As you can see, I have two collections in my scene. In the first, you can find the camera, a ground plane, and let me let me quickly show you this ground plane. There it is, it's basically the table. And these two other planes here are my lights. The second collection, which is properly named R2D2, contains our droid. All right, this is just how I like to set up my scenes. One for my main object and all the rest in another collection. Okay, let's move on. First, I want to show you something in the camera settings because this is where I added the video clip for reference. That could be an image or like in my case, a movie clip. Okay. Let me play this back for you real quick so you can see what I did. I simply imported an OBJ file of R2D2. I think it was the one from Video Copilot. Uh, well, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I'm, yeah, I, I think it's the Video Copilot one. But then I animated it because movement just makes everything look cooler. In my opinion, at least. <laughs> okay, next step was to texture the mesh. Let me quickly jump into the shading tab. And here you can see it's a super simple node setup. I won't go into detail in this video. I basically did the same thing that I, I did to my spaceship um, two weeks ago. Next I had to add my light sources and those are these planes here. Let me show you this one on the left. That's casting the main shadow. And by the way, there is a window in my office right there. So let's say it's 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 replicating the window light, even though I had the blinds closed. And my second plane here sits right above R2D2. It just acts as an area light in this case. Okay, next step was to add a ground plane. That's my table here. And this is the magic checkbox. You can see it's just a simple diffuse material and you have to check shadow catcher. It's easy as that. And it does not matter if you work with um, plain emitters like I did in this case or with let's say an HDRI image to light your scene. Just check shadow catcher and you're good to go. Can you see those shadows here? Let me turn this off and on for you. Okay, maybe let me turn off the whole plane for a second. That's a pretty significant difference, I would say. And yes, I know this is not the most realistic shadow in the whole world, but that was never my intention. I just wanted to quickly show you the shadow catcher function in Octane for Blender. And that's what I did. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. It's super easy to use and it looks good. All right, my friends, that is it for this video. I really hope you liked it. If so, you, you already know what to do, right? <laughs> Questions, recommendations, anything? Comment section. I see you in my next video. Bye for now.